European Parliament brands Hungary as no longer a democracy. Here's a summary of the article. Hungary can no longer be considered a democracy, and European values are under systemic threat in the country, the European Parliament declared in a report adopted on Thursday. We deeply regret that the lack of decisive action on the part of the European Union has contributed to the breakdown of democracy, the rule of law and fundamental rights in Hungary, making the country a hybrid regime of electoral autocracy, said Green MEP Gwendolyn Delbos Corfield, the lead MEP on the file. The European Commission has been engaged in a long battle with the country over the rule of law, pressing Hungary over the alleged misuse of public funds to enrich figures close to the ruling Fidesz party. Parliament has also long been critical of the state of Hungary's democracy. In 2018, MEPs took the historic step of triggering the EU's so-called Article 7 procedure against Hungary, a process used when a member state is considered at risk of breaching the bloc's core values. Thursday's report prods the Council to take action against Hungary. The text includes the draft of a potential Council proposal stating that there is a clear risk of a serious breach by Hungary of the values on which the Union is founded. This post received a score of 28,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Electoral autocracy. That's a good descriptive term. As a Hungarian, heavily rigged and influenced electoral kleptocracy may be even better. Any hope of getting rid of it anytime soon? Only when the dear leader dies sadly. What are you waiting for? I heard no one really asks any questions when people fall out of windows. That's more like Russia lol. And check, but that was more about religion than government. Allow me to defenestrate. You mean demonstrate? No. Such a great host. How does that work for EU membership? The EU can't easily do much about that unless every other country unanimously agrees, and Poland won't let any serious punishments come into effect against Hungary, including removing them from the EU. Why would Poland do that? Genuinely don't know. Poland is next in line to get the same criticisms Hungary is. Hungary votes to protect Poland and Poland votes to protect Hungary. Essentially the EU bylaws weren't written to account for two members going down this path at the same time. This is likely not the case anymore. War in Ukraine severely damaged Polish-Hungarian relations. The real question is will Poland's would-be autocrats value sticking it to Russia more than they want to rule autocratically? I think so. Polish people absolutely despise Russia. They will do their best to ensure they are not forced to choose. But pretty sure for them, it's personal survival over political attractiveness. If EU was to force the vote for it before elections and played it out nicely, it would wreck them or force them to vote for suspending Hungary. But elections are in around a year from now on. I mean if Poland is worried about precedent, then they should at the very least focus on preserving the integrity of democratic institutions within the country. If the population legitimately favors right-wing viewpoints in respect to LGBT rights, immigration, women's rights, etc. then the EU should accept that with the caveat that funding might be reduced. But preserving democratic institutions is definitely the most important necessity in the world right now. Globally we are too old for dictators and too young for platonic philosopher kings. I'd argue that any state that lacks democratic control institutions is going to head down a path of autocracy and dictatorship. Once those institutions are gone anyone can become king. The idea of a platonic philosopher king might be a dangerous autocratic idea since a king is inherently above the control of anyone. Democracy is the best thing that happened to us. We have to understand that there is no better system, yet, but I'd argue that we won't find a better one outside of the democratic framework. Maybe something I assisted but that shit's scary. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.